Aloha! I uh, hope you're doing well. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, welcome to this photo reading session. It's an activate step. Now, if you don't have your photo reading course, you can purchase it through me. I would love for you to have a copy of your own. It should be in the link below. You can buy it today. Or maybe there's someone that needs a little assistance in their reading skills or just needs to elevate their schoolwork. That is the perfect program for them. And I made it easy. There's a link below. Awesome. So thanks for joining in on this uh, syntopic reading course with chess. This is uh, we've done strategies and ta tactics uh, in chess. We've done chess uh, for beginners. So hopefully you've learned a lot from uh, preparing, previewing, uh, photo reading, post viewing these books, and activating these two books. Got my giant mind map. Hopefully you have this as well from going through the other videos of the syntopic reading video to. Go through each of these books, prepare, preview, post view, or photo read, and then post view these books so you can get a lot of questions, trigger words, to really have a conversation with these authors. So make sure you have your own. Um, go back to those videos and, and, and go through those steps if you haven't. This is uh, for chess. So today we're going to be activating Rocking the Ramparts by Larry Christensen. This is a guide to attacking. Uh, chess. This is cool. This is going to be a higher level book. Um, be kind to yourself going through this. You don't have to get all the information right away when you activate. What's great about activation is it's a step you can come back to again and again and again and you have no concern on time limit. Of course you are going to pick this stuff up a lot faster with these photo reading techniques. Um, I just started playing chess a couple months ago like really focusing on how to learn it and this uh, this experience has taught me more than I've ever learned in this in, in my entire life about chess and it even helps over help me overcome the the fear and anxiety that chess may may give uh, give us every once in a while because uh, you don't want to lose but from a wise eight-year-old once said uh, you don't lose in chess there's no loss it's only learning so that's what we're gonna be doing here Know that life is a is a learning. Well, it's just that's what it is. It's just constant learning. If you need, get a little prop set up for your photo reading. Um, because of activation, super reading opens up all levels: photo reading, skittering, dipping, rhythmic perusal. Um, what I know about these books is mostly their images and games. So, obviously, this is a, a sport you want to practice. You want to play these moves out. Um, I know in this book, the notation I haven't quite learned. So it's probably in one of these later activation books. And that would be awesome because to come across something more advanced before knowing the beginner stuff is uh, incredible. There's a couple ways to notate. The way I know, I'll just show with you right now, is white side. King starts on the right. And this is king's side. So as you can see, king is on the on that side. You get king side bishop, king side knight, king side rook, then one through eight, and back one through eight. This is queen side, crossed, queen side bishop, queen side knight, queen side rook, and then one through eight, and then one through eight. So that's the way I see the the, the chess. Uh, that's back from the 30s, from the 50s. And that's what activating these two books offer. Uh, very cool. Um, be sure you check those out. This one offers A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Um, the only problem with that notation is the question is, is it left to right, left to right, or is it left to right, right to left? So, uh, hopefully this book answers it. It may not, but a later book should. So having that question down um, is one of the basic parts, understanding notations and values. Uh, clearly, uh, I haven't understood the letters yet. I understood the uh, characters. So not exactly the same as the letters. Letters are slightly different. Um, it's more like battleship with the letters than what I feel is uh, the notation of chess, which is the, the characters, which is a, a really cool play to read out. Uh, there is a, a game uh, that play out through chess um, for beginners, which is a lot of fun. Or no, 
It's actually in strategy and tactics in chess uh, between Botvinnik and it, Dr. M. Yu. So take a look for that video. Uh, should be just close by. Right on. So let's get started. Of course, we want to make sure this book's still right for us. So a quick preview. Okay, I'm really excited about romantic openings in the Sicilian Defense. This is something I do want to get into. And it's pretty fresh. It's about 2003. Um, what I, now we need to do is make sure that we're in a prepared state because we need to open up our minds. Learning is an opening, not filling. Okay? This internal space is incredibly immense. So that's why we need to see it. And if we get into the right state of mind in the right body position, we can truly untap this brain's potential, your brain's potential, because if there's one thing you should know about photo reading is it untaps every brain's potential, no matter what your past or history is. You can learn. All right, here we go. So stack your knees over your heels, find a comfortable position, Maybe gently close your eyes. Good. Let's prepare. Take a deep breath in. And let it go relaxed. Good. On this inhale, imagine a number three. As you exhale, relax. On this inhale, imagine a number two. And again, exhale, relax. Inhale, one. And imagine you're holding an orange in your palm. Place this orange on the back top part of your head. And let it hover about three inches above your skull. Now you are prepared. In activation, you want to state a purpose. Now, I want to learn more about attacking chess. Attacking chess, it seems to me, has to do with defense. So I want to know more about the Sicilian defense, if I should know some words to uncover how it works on the field. I also want to know, what is the romantic openings? And is, is the Sicilian one of those romantic openings? Cool. So there's a lot to learn in just those two questions for me. You want to make sure you have the questions of your own, because you're having a, a conversation with this author between you and the author. So if you're having my conversation, you may miss out on the majesty of what's going on in your mind. So let's stop, let's stop and get into it, and let's open up that, that pathway of communication and connection. Utilizing, inactivation, super reading, photo reading, skittering, rhythmic perusal, and dipping. We are trying to read, trying to pick up information. If you do not know what I just said there in those steps, that's what the Photo Reading Whole Mind course is about. That's why you should get it. And again, I want to make it easy for you. It's right below. Get it through me, and I'm sure you'll be absolutely thrilled. Someone else may benefit from it, you know, and so kindness always pays forward. So let's do this. Okay, get jump right in. The Art of Attack. Open-minded, and that's right in the first sentences. And extremely is, uh, well, an extreme word. It's almost to me sometimes uh, chess is a lot like yoga, or a lot like photo reading. It makes you feel out the information. And here it says developing that feel of, for the art of attack. So you got to understand a lot of this is instinct. You know, this is a sport. So you're, you're going to be uh, defending and attacking against someone else. And you're going to want to feel where those attacks are coming from. Good. 
Names to know maybe Morphe, Marshall, Anderson, and Rudolph Spielman. Apparently their combinations are something to look for. And Alkahines, magnificent style. Uh, tactical flair and near limitless creativity. I like that. The limitless creativity, it could be a good function uh, outside of chess. What is the Dutch defense? If you need to add on to your mind map, that's always okay. This thing doesn't have to ever end. It would be good to play out some of these games to really see it. So there's no way to get it right away. You gotta improve by practice. What's called the nuts and bolts of tactics, pins, double attack, forks, double attack, uh, forms of double attack to discovered attack, discovered check, double check, interference, and the basic checkmating patterns. The lack of not knowing the notation will uh, hinder this book, but you'll still get a lot out of it. interesting you can look for forcing moves of your opponent this helps uh, that strategy on putting them on their back heel Queen's Gambit declined ooh this makes me want to come back to this one and play this one when I understand this notation. So hopefully I can do that. This is a Vienna variation. That's still far out of my reach of knowledge. So I really hope that all this works and activating this will allow me to play out of Queen's Gambit uh, declined in a match. That'd be cool. Of course, keep going through at your own pace, your own rate. You decide. There's a king's gambit. So that's awesome. I did not know that there's a king's gambit. Of course, truly understanding what the gambit means, um, I'll have to see. Uh, As it's, as it's played out on the chessboard. So hopefully we can get through that. King's Indian defense. Okay. I love how chess has a different language to it. This is an amazing book. So I see the King's Indian Defense sees the rooks uh, side by side, and the kings cross the column from it. Larson's opening. Okay, I see that. I've almost done that before in the game. Just on accident, it's set, setting up the pawns in a diagonal at the, the left side of the white and moving the, the, uh, the queen over. Yeah, okay. Interesting. 
you almost see patterns in how if you've played at least like 13 to, 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 to 25 games, maybe even up to 100 games, you start to see certain patterns keep rotating. Ah, the Sicilian defense. So only on page 15 will start opening the Sicilian defense. See? Yeah, this is something I want to learn. Okay, I see it. Putting the rook behind the queen. Yeah, keeping the king safe in the back corner. So uh, away from any possible queen attack. Yeah, I see that. And that's an interesting one. I think I could play that out now. Cool. So I I'm pretty stoked. I'm I, I'm I'm really happy. I think I can handle seeing the Sicilian defense on the playing field now just from seeing it in this book. So maybe even the visual of the pieces and understanding the basics of the pieces in these books, you'll start to translate that information visually into what you've seen on the board visually. Those patterns are easy, they're real. It's as easy as seeing like the Fibonacci in, in a leaf, the Fibonacci pattern a series of numbers in a leaf or a flower or a pineapple. So let's keep going. I'm really excited about that. I, now, obviously, getting into that position will be something different, so I'll have to practice that. But to see it, maybe I'll even remember it. It'll pop up. Excellent. Here's another Sicilian defense. So, this is exciting. There's several examples. And center act, act, attack is always important. Who controls the center may be the powerhouse of... Uh, the uh, the whole field. So, getting control of the center is so important. And uh, here we go. Keep on going. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So when two rooks are near queen and you've king sized castled, I assume it is setting up in control of the center is setting up the Sicilian defense. All right, so that's that's something that may naturally start to happen. Um, knowing that it's happening is something different than it, it, it instinctively occurring or naturally occurring. So the goal of reading and the goal of this and topic reading and photo reading and activating these books is to be able to actually see it turn into that play on this 64 square field. So... Um, that translating in the future hopefully will happen. It's amazing how much activation has already occurred. And I assume that's just around the corner through these next five books. So keep on going. What do we got? Five books? Yeah, five more books. Let's keep on moving. So there's multiple examples of the Sicilian defense. Just keep on exploring each... Uh, well, you know, there's not a lot of photo reading right now. I'm having a lot of fun uh, skittering and rhythmic perusing, but... Keep using all the super reading techniques to fully activate this book at your pace. Whew! So that's an intense sentence. Like, when should you let intuition take over? You should allow yourself to calculate 10 moves ahead. Then you'll feel pretty confident. That to me says, there's a lot of work here. I can get one to two moves sometimes, but 10 seems, um, that's a lot. So going back to this book, The uh, Strategies and Tactics, uh, I remember it said, be sure to, um, oh, oh, shucks. It was just went in and out, that's hilarious. 
anyways, I don't know, I was looking at the mind map, I guess my brain was starting to go somewhere else, but, um, <laughs> that's funny, it just disappeared. It's not an easy task, but relative few defense options at Black's disposal. So, um, hmm. That's okay. My short-term memory uh, does this to me all the time. That's why it's so important that I work on photo reading. Because the only reason why I'm sharing this with you is hopefully this is a great way for me to see it work in action. You see it work in action. And we see it work together. So, uh, that's just a big question. Seeing that many moves ahead is tough. I don't remember how I was going to relate to that, so maybe you'll figure that out. If you read this book, you'll see that connection that I just had, but just couldn't articulate it out in that time. Sorry, let's move on, because there's no, no need to hang in, uh, hang on something, because if you ever feel like you're lacking, believe me, you're not. Because this, I did not have two months ago, just the information about the king side, queen side, uh, the point values, all this stuff. So... If you feel like you're lacking just because you forgot something or you lost something or something didn't pick up right or you don't remember it, well, remember, we all forget. Remember, forgetting is part of this process. You cannot actually remember everything. If you do, uh, awesome. That means you have a photographic memory. And go use photo reading to your advantage. Excellent. The Gurganides system. Is that a Gurgan? Gurganids? Gurganids system? I've never heard of that. So it looks like it's focused on sacrifice and here is a week on Z of two thousand one Sicilian defense. So you can look at different years of the Sicilian defense. Okay. Skittering works really well with a lot of this. Uh, there are main main points here and there, which is incredible. And rhythmic perusing helps find those points. Nice. If you ever need a break or turn some music on, go ahead. Put something nice in the background. It really helps if you have some classical music. Bach, Beethoven, assist. Attack in the castle and cast the king, drawing the king from its lair. That's kind of fun. I've done this a few times. you got to run the king around. Um, when you start getting into that, if you get the king to move three or four times, you should be able to set him up into position where you checkmate. Or the person resigns. <laughs> if they can see that many moves ahead, then you are playing someone a little higher than an amateur. Ten thousand? Tens of thousands of times? Jeez. Whew, that's a lot. Calculation visualization. Very important to visualize and concentrate. The French defense. Now, here we go. This is castling queenside, though. I guess castling both. No, that's a different game. Castling queenside. Yeah, which leaves that open for attack, huh? Huh. I see, yeah. If the rook is next to the king, king's castled on the king's side. Uh, with the three pawns still sitting there, it's uh, open for uh, attack and 
quite dangerous to, to sit yourself in that position. Definitely been there before. Probably going to put myself in that position again <laughs> until I can see my see my way out of it. So and that's why you want to keep on activating as long as you can. There's lots of examples of the French defense. Two of them, which is good, explains. Yeah, how to expose the king through pinning. There's a Nimzo Indian defense. That sounds fun. Nimzo Indian defense. Yeah, so it's good to know these things. If you write it down, your brain has a, a, a more close connection to the information. So keep using your mind map, keep playing with it, keep building on it. Yeah, it's going to look messy. But that's what the brain the brain is. It's, it looks messy, the mind. It looks messy. But these connections are real. What seems to be happening is it opens up so many more ways that your opponent can't discover you uh, uh, you doing, which is amazing. More Sicilian defense is from 01. It will be fun to try to go back to some of these games and replay them, especially understanding this notation. That's probably one of the best ways to learn chess is to actually put it on the board and put it in your hands. Because, yeah, it's just practice, routine, keep it going. And these combinations slowly open up. Now I'm just looking for stuff that will increase my understanding of these defenses, looking for patterns, looking for uh, connections. And I might not always remember the questions I have and how to answer them, so you know I let that stuff go a long time ago. Slav defense. I like that. It's nice to hear these new terms. Let's see. Ooh, I won't take too much more time in this video. Obviously, we'll get through this whole book. But make sure if you go through activation, you go through several times, uh, really opening up the layers of your brain. Because it's all in there, my friends. Just gotta got to light it up. Gotta learn how, and then let it light up. Ooh, Internet Chess Club. That's cool. So that's where I, I, uh, I've been playing a computer. Uh, it may be a great way for you to begin, because uh, it's fun to play Grandmaster level on the computer and try not to lose. And if you're stalemating a grandmaster, you might be okay at a higher level. Openings such as the Queen's Gambit decline, Nim Nimso Indian, and King's Indian. Okay, so this is a good, good, good section to get into. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is really playing as if it's a war on the field. Which I like it's a sport, not a war. That's better. But obviously, kings, knights, whatever. You can you can imagine it however you want. It's playful. Kindness, learning, is. Playful. It's a heavy, uh, heavy pawn attack. Center game. So the center game is something that I've looked uh, into. It's most important. There it is. I put it. Yeah, 
here, mid, the middle game, or center game. Definitely use other colors. Get caught up using just this one pen. Use as many colors as you want. Colors help uh, this mind map grow. Again, one of those that you're just going to have to play out to really see it occur. Um, but a main point uh, is to hurl his kingside pawns forward to break his into the black king position. It's kind of fun to read these uh, these games. There's a there's a kind of a, there's an intensity to them. Okay, more about the French defense. And again, as it repeats itself, I might come back to some of these and play them out just to see them, see the patterns they create, see. The, there's there's several games of French defense, of the Indian defense, King's Indian defense, of the Sicilian defense, of all these layers of the Nismo uh, Indian defense. So you should be able to compare them side by side and be like, oh, okay, so this is similar, this is not. Uh, if I use that then, I can use that then. You know, you start to recognize patterns when to use them. Opening, mid game, in game, and all these layers. And oh boy, if you get start. You get attacked on this stuff and you don't know any of it, you're just going to get ran around the field until it's over. Yeah, scattering is amazing here. Semi Slav defense. Um, I do want to. There's a semi Slav. Oh, Dutch defense. I haven't looked into that. And a Slav defense. So I guess one you get into, one you almost get into, stuff like that. Obviously, playing it out again will take the requirement of understanding the notation process of A through H. That it seems like it's becoming clear, but again, I think I'll find it in one of these other books just to see if I can activate it in a different way. Then suddenly this book opens up. Maybe it's already opened up to you. Awesome. Go for it hit the ground running because now you're starting to see how much potential you have. Here's a new one, Perk Defense, P-E-R-C Defense. Uh, <laughs> so getting into the center quick. It's like pawn centered. So that's when working for exploits, uh, exploiting pens and stuff like that, getting them to jump into positions they don't want to, it looks like. Double rooks, doubling rooks, nice. Okay. A Sicilian up hot, opposite side castling. Deepening the game. Alright, this is starting to give me a little bit more confidence in how I play and how I should approach my playing. I'm really excited. The Poison Knight Variation. That sounds fun. The Poisoned Knight Variation. I'm going to put that up top. Poisoned, because that seems like a more advanced. Poisoned Knight Variation. And I think I have variations and combinations up there too. Uh, ba 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Yep, variations just not a bird. Word for combination, so let's play with that. 
more of the Sicilian defense, several games, and this is obviously the opposite side's castling. So I believe it's queen side castling. So see that the opposite side stuff versus queen side, you know, this a through h versus king queen side. Just uh, some different two variations of speaking the same language, it seems. So maybe that's, uh, you know, don't see that as threatening. See that as a possible learning, uh, learning curve, but approach you with an open mind, extremely open mind, as this book puts it, and you'll find your way through. Ooh, here we go. The Velmer Ravik Attack Classics. This is from 76. The Sicilian Defense opens up the uh, Velmer Ravik Attack. I really like his name. 85, more Sicilian Defense. Yeah, so this is just playful, play through, learn from stuff. Okay. A lot of approaches to check out Sicilian Defense. I think I'm going to go through that whole chapter sometime on my own. Centralization, very important motifs of, for the attacking players. Get centralized first. This is huge. If you can control the middle game, you control the game. And yeah, it says mantra, centralize, centralize, centralize. Very general principle. It's a major principle. It may be the greatest principle. Just adhere to this principle. <laughs> This is something I've already learned, and it's nice that it's going to deepen uh, my act, my already knowledge on this, my activation of it. Cool. Let's just finish up here. Cutting the board in two. I do want to look back into that. Desperation attacks. That is stuff that if you have nothing remaining, you got to go for it and see if you can put the person on me, uh, their back heel. Four Knights game, so that's, that's something I might want to look into. The English opening. And yeah, I'll be going back through this book again myself, so make sure you go back through again whenever you need. And Romantic opening, th Thrill Rides. Hmm, the Museo Gambit. Museo Gambit. Maybe it's like a, the name, the Museo. Evans Gambit. So it seems like there's multiple styles of gambits. Maybe these are the individuals. Max Lane get attack. Center game. Okay. So romanticizing it is short compared to any other possible combination. So maybe not get caught up in the romance of it. Old Indian defense. It's true confessions. That's funny. I have to look into what he's confessing. Come back to that. This is just so great about these books. Is it's all so visual. Combinations. And you can play them out once you have the understanding of the notation. I feel like I've learned a lot from this book in this uh, activation session already. The end of this book is just showing several layers of combinations, just game after game after game, year after year after year, player after player after player, and it's quite amazing. So, the end of this book, I'll instruct the combinations and inspirational attacks. So this is the place to practice uh, attacking the book at the end of, end of this book. So that was really fun. Uh, that is our activation of Rocking the Ramparts. Make sure you end with mastery. You want to leave with this information to go share with someone you don't know or someone you know and care about. You may just want to share this uh, information more with yourself. Like, super excited that I know that there's multiple gamuts, not just the Queen's Gambit, which was originally my mind, but there's the Evans Gambit, the Mismo Gambit, uh, there's the uh, Max Lang Attack, uh, the, there's King's Gambit, Queen's Gambit, and then, then to understand the openings. Openings, uh, you can do, you know, your Sicilian defense, obviously, and, uh, 
you know, openings I might have to look into a little bit deeper. It showed some romantic ones. But this was more about attacking and defense. And seems like defense is your best attack. Like the Sicilian defense, the king's defense, the Indian defense, the king Indian defense, the, the uh, let's see, the, Niz, the, the Nimzo Indian defense, uh, the Dutch defense, the Slav defense, the semi-Slav defense. There's so many kinds and techniques to go about that just practicing through may open up their your ability to see them in the game uh, as you learn this learn to play so having those new terms in mind and you know in in articulation in words uh, is is phenomenal and to try to even get some double attacks double pins uh, double checks stuff like that down in a game uh, and understand that I did that on purpose and that to, for you to understand that you've, you, you're doing this on purpose uh, is an incredible feeling. And it, it means that you are growing. It means that you're learning. And if you just keep at it, you will learn as much as you want about any subject you want. So I know I'm a master photo reader. So I'm going to pick up whatever I want from this book. I'll learn that question I do not have, the notation of the A through H, and just the proper way it goes about but I did get what I wanted out of this. Romance openings aren't as important as the defense. So make sure you find what's important to you, leave the rest, and then activate this book as much and as often as you'd like because, again, it's your mind, your questions, your conversation with Larry. So this was uh, Rocking the Ramparts, Guides Attacking Chess with Larry Christensen. Uh, I'm James Craig. Thank you for watching. If you don't have your photo reading whole mind course, again, you can buy it through me. Um, next, we'll be doing the activation book, uh, activation video of the right way to play chess. Okay? Enjoy your reading. Aloha.